Trump's America, my story would not be possible. He has come and he came into office vilifying immigrants. He has been, he has had a policy of putting babies in cages and separating children from their parents in the name of border security, when in fact what it is is a human rights abuse being committed by the United States government. As President of the United States, and in fact one of the reasons I am running for president, is to pass comprehensive immigration reform with a pathway towards citizenship. In my first days in office, I will also, by executive order, renew the DACA protection, not only for our dreamers, but for their families and their parents. And on day one, I'm going to shut down those private detention facilities. Mark, Mark Thompson, 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 Mark Thompson is here. Um, you make a direct appeal to the black community mm -hmm. right now. For whatever reason, they, the majority of black community is still with Joe Biden for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a similar position Barack Obama was in right. in 2008. But speak to the black community and particularly black women, as yeah. to why they should support you. Okay. I'm running for president because having been born a black child and now being a black woman, I am very well aware of what is at stake in this election. For black women who are three to four times more likely to die in connection with childbirth, for the fact that it is black women who, whose sons, the highest rate of death for them is gun violence, more than the nine other combined. When black women are paid 61 cents on the dollar in America, these are the issues that I'm running for to address. I am running to also address the fact that we need to make sure that black women are not only thanked for helping other people win elections, but that black women's issues are prioritized as everybody's issues. Because these are not just about black women's issues. I, f I strongly believe a harm against any one of us is a harm against all of us. And as President of the United States, I will lead in that way that makes it clear to everybody that a litmus test for America is how we are treating black women. All right, Senator, Senator John, John, and then we're going to take the last one. Maybe related, you said on the stage, show up for me. And I'm curious. If you could expound on that a little bit, what exactly you meant, because it was in the middle of an answer that you were giving about white, I think about white candidates coming in and asking for the black vote every four years, talking about uh, black voters as the backbone of the Democratic Party. What do you mean by that, and does it ex extend that idea of show up for me beyond just the black community? It means that you can't just ask people for their vote and then not show up for them in their time of need. It means that there is, I mean, look, I'm just about speaking truth. And here's the truth. The truth is that many candidates show up in the black community when it's close to the time that people start voting, and then they do their whole black church circuit to ask people to get out and vote. And then after they get elected, they're seen again in that community around the next election. And that's just not working. And it's not right. It's not fair. When you look at the fact that the leading cause of death of young black men is gun violence, more than the other nine reasons combined, when you look at the disparities in terms of our public education system as it relates to black children, when you look at the issue about black student loan debt, when you look at the fact that black families own one-tenth of the wealth of other families, when you look at the issue of maternal mortality and black women are three to four times more likely to die in connection with childbirth, and it has nothing to do with socioeconomic level or education level, but literally race. When you look at what's going on in our criminal justice system in terms of the history and the decades of mass incarceration of black men and women. And Senator, say, what did you, you take away guys, from that exchange with Vice President Biden? You, is that a personal appeal to you? No, it's about show, show up, up for, for the people. Okay. Show up for the people. Senator, right, what did you take, a, what did you the okay. away, what did you take away from that exchange with Vice President uh -huh. Biden toward the end of the debate where you sort of threw up your hands? He was defending his stature and support from within the African American community. It was just a, I, I just needed to correct fact. <laughs> Sorry guys, we right. got to Two guys, black way. women who are elected to the United States. Sorry. Thank you guys.